The real breakdown of this program and how it is a curriculum, it's teaching you to take a classic book and that classic book is now your curriculum. That is the most basic form of this curriculum. Your curriculum is now the books you're reading. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we are gonna do a coffee and curriculum chat about teaching the classics and why this is gonna be perfect for you for this summer. Before I get into the video though, we have a contest and we are I'm gonna be drawing two winners to get a $50 gift certificate for IEW and that will be running from now through the end of this month, May 2022. And if you want to get in on that, all you have to do is visit the link that is down below in the description box and just sign up for it. There's going to be a little image that says win a $50 gift, gift certificate. Sign up there and we will pick two winners at the end of this month. There are several other links where you can download and try several weeks of Fix It Grammar, of uh, Structure and Style, and the Poetry Memorization that I showed you guys a couple weeks back. So check that out and try some of those free trials too if you're interested. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a good explanation of what teaching the classics is and why I think you need it because I just took the class and I love it. I have been just dying to talk to somebody about this, so I'm picking you guys. So I have my coffee and of course, because I'm talking about IEW, I have my IEW coffee mug, which honest to goodness, this is my new favorite coffee mug. I found this to be a very useful tool for me for kind of the end of the year summer type of teacher training. So like I mentioned before, with teaching the classics, this is going to equip you to do literary analysis and to teach that to your children using the Socratic method. So the Socratic method is a bunch of questions that you are going to use to teach and help your child understand what they are reading. And at the very beginning of this course, I was like, I, I felt a little bit overwhelmed. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it or if I was going to be able to get it. It's been a while since I've been in college, just saying. But after taking this, I feel very confident and I feel like I could actually do this now. And I'm going to kind of walk you through a little bit of what this is. So I have a bachelor's degree in elementary education and I have taken a lot of teacher courses and I've gone through a lot of teacher seminars. So I can honestly and confidently tell you that of all of the seminars and courses that I have had to sit through and that I have had to take in the past as a college student and as a teacher, teaching the classics takes the cake. It's one of the absolute best ones and the instructor, Mr. Andrews is one of the best instructors for teaching language arts. His language arts course, just in this matter itself, has beaten out all of the college courses that I even took when I was preparing to become a teacher. That's the quality that I'm talking about here. Teaching the Classics is taught by Adam Andrews and is sold by IEW on their website and you can pick that up along with accompanying books. So let's talk about how this works. So first, you're going to learn a lot in this DVD series. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I was a little bit overwhelmed at first, but I took it just one DVD at a time and I found that I was getting it. And even sometimes I was having them on when I was cooking. I know you guys probably saw that video last week that I had up where I had it going in the kitchen and I was listening to Mr. Andrews while I was cooking. And it, you know, everything really just started sinking in and the more and more that I went along with it. So your book is going to coordinate with the DVDs. All of the written passages, all of the Socratic method questions, all of that is inside of this book. And this book is going to be yours to keep on your shelf because all of the Socratic questions are in here in one of the sections. This is what you're gonna pull your curriculum from when you read a book. And this is what is going to help you 
as you go through all of the books that you read with your children. So as they read a book and as you read a book, you're going to be using these questions to help instruct and teach that book that you're reading. So really the curriculum is your book. That, that is the coolest thing about this whole program, okay? The, the real breakdown of this program and how it is a curriculum, it's teaching you to take a classic book and that classic book is now your curriculum. That is the most basic form of this curriculum. Your curriculum is now the books you're reading. That's the coolest part. So basically you're gonna start off the school year with a predetermined amount of books and you're going to read the book, your children are going to read the book and you're going to use these questions in the back to teach that book. It is super simple. It's not a difficult thing to do at all. It is a little time consuming, but even if you only read one book a year, you can do this. And I'm sure that you can find 10 minutes a day sometimes to even just get a chapter in. That's honestly what I have to do right now. And you know, that's just the way that my schedule is. My schedule is going to be changing very soon, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> so when you purchase teaching the classics, you're going to get this box here. And inside of this box, you're going to get several, you're gonna get two things. You only need two things for this whole thing. You need this, which is all of the DVDs. So there's eight DVDs. Each DVD is between 45 minutes to about an hour, and each one varies a little bit. And the last one really isn't instructional. The last one is more of FAQ and curriculum. So this is going to show you how to take what he teaches you in the other seven DVDs and basically put that together as a curriculum. And that one, do not skip it. It's really important. And I felt so much better after watching that DVD at the very end. I was like, oh, okay, I see how he's taking these elements and putting them together. So definitely check that out. You're also going to get the teacher book. So really quickly, let's go over what I love about this. I, I, I'm not sure if I want to call it curriculum. Um, what I loved about this seminar, that's going to be my new curriculum. So first, I don't need to buy a literary curriculum anymore. Teaching the classics will eliminate your need to buy a literary curriculum ever again. Now that when I say literary and when I say when I'm talking about literature, I'm talking about not phonics and reading like the how to's of reading. So you're still going to need that, especially for young readers. But I'm talking about when you're discussing books or reading for understanding that type of uh, literature. So or reading programs. Some some curriculum calls it reading, some curriculum calls it literature, so you just have to kind of, you know, decide which that's what it, whatever one you're going to call it. But this is going to eliminate your need for that. This is going to replace that and you're not going to have to use that anymore. Next, it focuses on classic literature, so I do not have to worry about any inappropriate things in some of the more modern books because I'm telling y'all I have had such a hard time with a lot of the books that are coming out like post 2000 ish. I don't like it. It also taught me how to analyze literature myself. Now that I have gone through all of the DVDs, I find myself actually using it and I think that's probably one of the coolest things. Next, you use all of children's books to start out with. So at the very beginning and all throughout this seminar, you're using children's literature. So you're using very simple stories, very short stories, and that's why he's using it because they're simple and they're short and you're using that to teach your kids and that's going to help you and them because when you're, when you're trying to do a bigger book with some of these concepts, it could be a little bit more difficult to really put that together. So he really recommends that you start out with children's stories because that's going to help both of you guys in the understanding and you in the instruction of these things. So you're not going to have to like analyze some huge Shakespeare book at the very beginning of this. You're going to start very small and work your way up as you get more and more comfortable. You will go up to their reading level, but at the very beginning when you guys are first starting out and when you're first learning the concepts, you're going to start small. This works for 
every grade and every age. So you're not gonna have to worry about buying multiples or teaching multiples because you can teach the same lesson to different age kids. You just have to maybe alter the questions a little bit for that actual reading or grade level. So this is something that I can do with both of my kids at the same time and I don't have to do it twice, which is great for me. And the last thing that I love about it is they're gonna carry this with them throughout the rest of their lives. And I know that if I'm reading these things and I'm seeing these things in, you know, just literary works that I'm reading, whether it's, you know, my, my Jane Austen novel that I'm reading right now, or if it's my Bible story that I'm reading right now, I'm seeing those things. So I know that if I'm doing that, they're gonna do the same thing and they're gonna carry this with them throughout their entire life. So let's talk about how I'm planning on using this curriculum. I plan on using it exactly the way that Mr. Andrews has already determined in uh, the last DVD in this set. I am going to go through it exactly how he says. So at the beginning of the year, we're gonna spend some time on children's books, on children's stories, and we're going to use that to learn all of the concepts in this book. So everything from characters, plot and setting to the more complicated ones, we are going to take at least one day to a week to learn that through children's stories. I wanna get the basics down first and then kind of have them branch off a little bit onto their own reading levels. So while we might be reading the same book, I'm going to be asking my 10th grader probably different questions and, and more advanced questions that I'm going to be asking my sixth grader. And you can even add in writing to this. Mr. Andrews talks about that in the last video. And you can kind of turn this into a writing curriculum if you need. I don't think I'll be doing that because we're going to be doing structure and style. But if you wanted to do that, you can absolutely do that. And structure and style is also through IEW. So there's also some accompany books with this that I plan on getting. I have one on the way already through IEW. And there is another book that Mr. Andrews has written with his wife and it's taking several books and it's like the cliff notes version of teaching the classics of those classic books. So it's going to break that down. So maybe if I didn't have as much time as I wanted to, to read the book, it's going to be in there. All of the questions are probably going to be answered. I can't tell you yet because I don't have the book in my hands, but that's what it looks like. It's laid out on their website. So final thoughts on this whole thing. I'm super excited to start. Um, I think that this is going to be, a lot of fun, especially for me and my sixth grader. I don't know how my 10th grader is going to enjoy it, but my sixth grader I know is going to love this. He has already made me a list of books that he wants to use with this. I think he put um, Huckleberry Finn was I think one of the first ones he put on there and Robin Hood. He really, really likes Robin Hood. So I know we're probably going to be doing those and we have a couple more. <laughs> So we have a lot of classic books at my house. My child loves the word cloud books. If you want a list of classic books, I have a Amazon list down below in my description and you guys can go check that out. It's been a real big help for um, a lot of my group members and you guys can go and purchase all kinds of books there. We have many of the books on that list and some of them we haven't yet and it's just kind of like a running list for me. So basically what I did was I turned it into a public list where you can go and check those out in my Amazon store. I am so thankful that IEW sent this to me. I am over the moon about it. We're definitely using it next year. Now, I don't know, it may not work out, but I have a really good feeling that it will. I, you guys know that I always keep my options open when it comes to, curric to curriculum and things like that. This one, I feel very confident about. I think that this is going to be such a good one for my kids. I think we're gonna learn a lot and I think that this is going to help carry them through their education and well into college and beyond. I think this is going to help them because I know I'm doing it. It's helping, it's going to help them understand literature more it's going to help them understand anything that they're reading for the rest of their lives. And I think that you can't really put a price on that. And this guys was not that expensive. Honest to goodness, it wasn't. I was so impressed with it. Go check it out and make sure that you sign up for the contest 
so you guys can win a $50 gift certificate. All right, guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this gives you something for you, not just your kids, <laughs> for um, for homeschooling. Just bottom line, I, I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm so glad I got to talk to you guys about it because I needed somebody to, to chat with about this stuff. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Happy homeschooling.